blah. Drawing program, please. Well, I can I can just ask and ping. You don't need to do all this. I, I assume in there. between what is happening between like these cells. That's wall. Yeah. Yeah. And then this weird <laughs> stuff like that. stuff is. These are the pads. All the lines. Okay. Though. Um, He's out of path. In that case, uh, I will walk my shape consciousness over this way, avoiding the area where the voice came from. Okay, and you so look I'm in the west cross section. Yeah. All right. And then you go like up, basically. Or... Well, what do I see that direction? Well, I, I, I assume you look in every direction. Or not? Uh, because if yeah, you look sure. straight forward... Down the hallway uh, to the north and south, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is like... What the hell? This is like wall, the, the long... Okay. Uh, it's just, you know, like the wall where... That's the room, basically. Yeah, I got you. And... Um, here what the hell oh there's a small one <laughs> yeah small path small path i can't draw straight sorry small path like that and then there's jails zooming in this program is so annoying oh. uh, just hold alt and scroll well, Oh. It's magic. Yeah. I'm not noticing much difference. I like how all the gels have different sizes. <laughs> They're not. But I can't draw for shit. That's, That's alright. Right. I just need a basic. Yeah. And I drew the path way too far. But it's behind the gels goes the path, so it goes up there. And I assume another like wall. And there's as far as I can tell. Yeah, yeah. And then there's here, path, and between those two, and it's between those two. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Okay. Um. Let's see if I can delete this because that might be confused. Oh, it deleted the entire thing. Yeah. I'll just um. I'll go along the outer wall looking for um. Perhaps a door, guards, anything of note, really. You go along the outer wall? Yeah, just staying along the uh, obvious wall of the general room. Like, not between the yeah. cell areas, but... Yeah, this is all wall, you know, and just drawing yeah. some lines, that's all wall. And then... You go along... Here, it's there. Oh, because it's plus two, you can't see. Um, I mean, at this point, I get the layout of the room as long as it's all generally the same. Yeah, at the end of this path, at the end of this path, you path, you find a, uh, a staircase. Okay. Going up. <laughs> um, Hello, um, disco high. I just realized it's literally the first dungeon we've been in, uh, in. the first proper dungeon. And we're literally behind bars in the dungeon. <laughs> Excellent. Do you also look what's inside the cells or? Uh, as far as the outer wall, it doesn't seem like there's a look into the cells, is there? If you, if you walk straight up, then you don't see inside now. Right, yeah, and then if I walk inside the pads to see, yeah, that's um, what I thought. So you you walk straight up, I assume, and then you don't see anything. Um, yep. Once I see the um, the door with the stairs, then I'll start um, <clears throat> checking the the paths with the cells. Well, before you do that, what you also see is a light source near the staircase that's actually coming closer. 
Uh -oh. Cool. All right, so... Um, I wait for said light source. Actually, I, I would like to sneak. I want to hide behind... <laughs> um, I guess one of the... Kind of like on the corner of a, of a wall, I guess. Yeah, it's got your stealth skill, so uh, go ahead. Um, can I just ask a question about shape consciousness? Can it attack? No. It okay. certainly can. Yeah, well, you can cast your spells through it, but it can't oh, okay. attack physically itself. And, and well, you can make your brains explode. How long is it? It's up time? Five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes. Or until he dismisses it. All right, I rolled my stealth. So your last roll is your stealth? Yes, sir. All right. Let's look up. Hold <coughs> this. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes, it is. It's making an opposed roll to see if it spots you. Nope, it's oblivious to you. You see the Sweet. the kobold walking to the staircase. The kobold carries a torch. That's why the light source was moving. It walks. <laughs> you see it Cobalt's appear at the fire. staircase. Did it come it down the stairs, the or did it come what? like from? Did it come from the stairs, or was no, it going it, to it, the stairs um, from somewhere else in the room? Wait, hold on. It probably came up between the. It the came cells from and... this side because it's okay. like, yeah. I got you. That's just that's all I wanted to know if he was coming down or he was going. So when it, when it comes around this corner, you know, you can see the light source. Mm -hmm. You can see the cobalt attached to said light source, <laughs> <laughs> and then it like walks in your general direction. Cool. Um. Can I uh, wait for the cobalt to pass? You can wait, but it doesn't pass you because um, once it reaches here, it turns like this into this pathway. Let's, let's, okay. let's show these uh, amazing arrows. <laughs> cool. um, yeah, go go he, like this, like this. As he turns that way and, and goes out of sight, I'm going to make towards the stairs. All right, so you see more cells along the road. I think you, you know, I think you got yeah, the because basically. so basically, as you walk towards the stairs, on one side there's wall for the room. Uh, on this side, right, it's wall, and on the other side where the arrows are, there's more cells. But you see the back, the back side of the cell, so you don't see the bars. And uh, yeah, you arrive at the staircase. Um, got stairs. And you. Take the first steps up the stairs, your uh, shaped consciousness vanishes. Right. And, you, and you get a small second of sharp pain in your head. Okay. Great fun. Um, back in my cell, I would like to take the my usual form. Okay, can we and, rewind uh, for a very small second because like the whole the way he was doing that um and i was <laughs> having a conversation with juhani okay so kind of cool. quickly about mechanics juhani <laughs> conversation go <laughs> so, and i just kind of so just get a confirmation um so could you look at these bars if they're like operated by some kind of mechanism juhani shrugs her shoulders <laughs> and walks over to the bars and would like to take one bar, one bar, yes, and like move it up and down, see if it moves. You take a random bar? A random bar. One in the center somewhere, you know. Yeah. It does not move. <laughs> like, not at all. Nope, it's firmly attached to the floor. And uh, Harkon... Hold... Go on, go on. Harkon stops filing for a second. Um, just a quick question. How, have I got anywhere? Um, <laughs> roll a d20. <laughs> roll a d6 DM says you're gonna die. Roll a d6. 
Oh. Oh. Your filing has gotten you somewhere, but you notice that the file is breaking faster than the bar you're filing. Okay. Um, I, I quickly look at Jahani kind of fumbling around, grabbing bars and raising an eyebrow. And I, I'd like to do an Arcan Arcana check just to see if, if there's any magic um, giving off. Maybe it's hiding. There's some kind of magic hiding. Excellent. Mechanism. Very smart. Very smart. So I'll just do a roll for that. You notice the back wall is actually not there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not really in a cage. Well, if he wasn't going to Arcana, I would have obviously the dispelling of my... Yeah, but you're busy with your shape. You have no pluses. Oh, you can't. Oh, oh, actually, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. That was your alter. Um, <laughs> you notice a faint source of magic coming from the jail of Iralin. That's it. Okay. Elf. I, sh I shrug and carry on filing. <laughs> <laughs> so now we don't know. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Does Johan you see any sort of lever in the hallway? Maybe it's like a very obvious button right next to the <laughs> a bus. red button that says "Don't push this." No, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing that would give away an opening mechanism for the. No. No. Oh my. Joanne is about the same expression as me, just completely clueless. <laughs> Elgar, are you still digging? Did you mute yourself? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for the anticipation. The anticipation. <laughs> are you but still Melga's digging? still digging with its fingers. Fingers. Roll at 20. Roll at 20. <laughs> I want you to see your fumble just for the fun of it. <laughs> again? You, you dump it all in the same oh. hole again, it's completely useless. You made a small scratch in the floor. <laughs> she keeps on going. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Can you oh, let me you know up. when the file breaks? You don't know exactly when the file breaks, but you can see that the file will probably break before you are through this bar. Okay, I'm going to keep going until it breaks, so... <laughs> Excellent. Anyone else doing something? Uh, thinking. <laughs> Alright, Carl, you're, uh, you're back in the action. Here okay. We We're <laughs> back in the time where you get the sharp pain in your head and for a second and... Uh... Cool. Um, I... I'm going to uh, make an arcana check directed towards the um, where the staircase was. Okay. That's quite a distance, isn't it? Is that possible? Quite a distance, but it could. It's a roll. You never know. The, the magic the staircase is magical. <laughs> the magic is very favorable towards Roy. All right. You and notice the following is. thing. You notice that. The elf in the jail next to you has magical boots. He has magic boots. Yes. Boot. Boot. You also notice that boot is magical. Big whoop. <laughs> boot, who? What else is magic? Who, who? What else is magic? You notice. That the sword of Charon is magical. And it's far, far away from you. Up the Can stairs. I tell? A different I assume it's still within, like, I can feel it, but it's far and faint. Yeah. Cool. Well, hopefully, if they keep all our gear together, that'll be a good way to be able <laughs> to find it. <laughs> Just keep our cannon checking. It's a beacon, huh? Yeah. And do you find anything else magical? Let me quick check my notes. Is the hair magical? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> the key probably isn't. But... No. That's actually a good question. Is the hair magical? <laughs> no, you don't find anything else magical. All right. I am not magical. Uh, 
Oh man. If only the bars were alive, then I could tell them that I'm late for a very important date. And <laughs> absolutely must get through. <laughs> and are How's doing... the filing coming along? Sorry. Your file breaks as you are a bit over halfway across the bar. Okay. I'm going to try and now boot it and kick it through. Because it obviously could, it's going to Here's a new one. one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I pull okay. it out of my head. <laughs> and now, while um, Aquan is losing it to the maps, <laughs> it's uh, like, um, I've got the two snake. Oh, what was his name again? Ilderin? I actually have to write it down for the recap, though. Um, the name is Irelin. Irelin. Okay. For recap. Irelin, how long have you been here? Phew. <sighs> A few days, they threw me in after, well, they threw me in as they, as the warband was on their way to Tylonia to siege the city. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, and, uh, We've been out for a while. Has a for us for a bit, and then goes, uh, do the, do they just, have you ever seen her cobbled again, or did, did they come past or leave, just leave us here? Yeah, he comes past once in a while. I look at Roy. Feeds thinking, us from time to time. I'm thinking we might be on something if he walks past. No, indeed we are. He just walked past though. <laughs> <laughs> um, DM, I'm going to initiate a short rest after my uh, <laughs> You can initiate a short rest. Tired from the wall, guy. <laughs> you plant yourself on the floor. It was scary. I had to sneak, guys. I had to sneak. <laughs> Giovanni is like, I do that every day. It's <laughs> almost like bluffing, right? And it just keeps up the small talk. I was like, what do you do for a living then? When you're not being fucked up by cobalt, then it's... Ah. Our I like make shoes for a living. Fantastic. Hakon says to himself sarcastically. <laughs> I Not tell him that I like his shoes. shoes and boots, sir. It's good ears that you'll hear I tell time. him that I, I very much like his shoes. <laughs> he like yeah, you can't see what he looks his look on his face. He's like Ah uh, You have a keen eye, sir. It's it's more the smell. <laughs> More of the smell. They, they smell, smell very nice. They smell very nice. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. They smell very nice. Especially, I mean, seeing as how you've been in a jail cell for a few days without a shower, it's it's surprising how nice your feet smell, sir. <laughs> Absolutely, you're right. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can see him in my mind backing into the corner furthest away from us. Just like holding himself like <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Anna kind of just looks at Roy going like, I, I'm pretty sure he means more with that. <laughs> what did he notice about the shoes then? You said just not just any shoes, sir. Indeed, indeed. I Harko Mal's the finest shoes in the land, <laughs> as he's heard from ev a few other characters they've met on the journeys. <laughs> the finest blacksmith in the land. <laughs> well, I do not pretend to be the finest in the land, but my shoes do have a touch of the unusual, I should say. I've met a few elves, they wear unusual shoes. If they, if you wear my shoes, you might find yourself faster at your destination than you firstly anticipated. Maybe. Oh, he's got some Jordans on. <laughs> oh man, I'm just envisioning speed sneaking. <laughs> I should have named this character Mikey. <laughs> Made it a Greek human. 
Um, seeing as how the, um, well, I guess, I'll wait, I'll wait. Let me know when the five minutes is up. Yeah, if no one does anyone anything, the five minutes will be up. Suhani walks around the cell, touching the wall all the way around, if there's anything odd about it in any way. Uh, roll a dungeoneering. Oh, can I, can I roll, like, nature or something? No. Acrobatics. You want to touch them acrobatically? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. I saw a slot against the wall. The engineering is finding something odd about walls. There you go. That's my odd about wall checks. There Pretty is good. nothing odd about about this about these walls. Anna kind of jokingly says to Hoot, Hoot, show me how smart you are. Go find a freaking key. Make yourself <laughs> useful. A key to like, the bar. Would like turns <laughs> around <laughs> as you know owls can. Like, <laughs> the creepy exorcist kind of turn. Is she going? <laughs> is she like, going for my pouch? And like nope. Walks to the bar and then turns normal head again. Steps and poof. Vanishes in a puff of smoke and poof. Vanishes appears back. On the other side of the bars. Like, well, what? <laughs> that and goes like. From where to where? Good to owl, the go find the key. <laughs> the owl walks to the bars, then disappears, and the second later reappears on the other side of the bar, basically outside the cell. Magic. Do that. <laughs> um, Harkon looks, sees this and then gets a crazy idea in his head. <laughs> and he, he looks around, he steps back from the cage and he looks around and then co confidently walks towards the bars. <laughs> Try to walk through them. Nothing happened. I'm, I'm walking to the bars. <laughs> you like stand out with your hand against the bars. No, oh, no, no, he I, walks at I, the bar. I walk at the bars. Oh, you walk at the bar. <laughs> and the bars are like that. And, I hit and he bumps into the bars. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. I just go like, go on, Hood, find keys. Like, <laughs> uh, turn, and like, wanders off into the hallway. <laughs> I don't know why the owl insists on walking, but okay, fine. At least he's making himself useful. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of shakes her head and then kind of pets Harkon on the shoulder. Is your nose okay? Only my pride. <laughs> hmm. And at the somewhere along the hall, you're, you hear. <laughs> <laughs> That's my owl. <laughs> I don't know the sound owls make, but. <laughs> But Hood, but Hood can say poop if he wants, he's a magical <laughs> owl. <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. true. <laughs> I, I, it sounds cuter. The five minutes passed? Yeah, five minutes passed. I am going to... Oh, hold on. One second. <gasps> Uh-oh. He's going to do something, but he left us. Everybody's wet. Oh, no. Let's all stare intently at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Nelga is wondering how far she got along with scratching. Okay. Um, you could just you could just have asked what to roll. Basically, I I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, Skype thing with recent messages. I only asked at that moment is because um, you were all talking about something else. So I just thought I'd ask and wait until um. Quick, um, quick thing in here. Um, um, I need to, to go do something real quick. I'll be back in about five minutes. Well, that's during the break, so take your time. <laughs> oh, okay. Are we are we breaking right now? After Harkon did his thing, then we're yeah. breaking. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll okay. just wait for a second and then I'll go. All right, Harkon, what do you want to do? Uh, 
I want to kick the bar where I've weakened it with a file. I assume a strength check. Yep. Kick it! You kick the bar mightily and... Even though it bends a slight bit, like one millimeter maybe. You more fe more like feel it in your leg, the, yeah. <laughs> the reverb, and it hurts. Hakon swears. <laughs> in Dwarvish? In Dwarvish. Bloon! <laughs> and it's uh, time for a break. Yeah. <laughs> time for the break. Time for the break, Hype. Um, we don't have break music, guys, so put in some... Like, use Spotify, use YouTube, get up, oh, uh, do some I've whatever. I've Next awesome time, link. I will have music for the break, but right now, I have some issues with it. Uh, apologies for that, and we will be back in 10 minutes. See you guys, hang tight! Doodly-loo. Doodly-loo.